So you'll want to become the best Deadeye in England. Look no further than the Wolf Tree, skills designed to enhance your ability to kill enemies from afar. Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, one half of the team behind Legacy Gaming, and today we gear up and take a deep dive into the Wolf Tree in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you're new to the way skills work in Valhalla, let me give you an overview. Throughout your adventures, you'll gain skill points for nearly everything you do, from questing to looting, and those skill points can be used to allocate points into a sprawling skill tree. Minor nodes increase things like weapon potency or your ability to resist attacks, while major nodes fundamentally change the way you experience elements of the game. Today, let's talk about the Wolf Tree, which is designed more or less to enhance ranged combat. Now, I should point out that just because you put points into the Wolf Tree doesn't mean you can only use bows. In fact, that's far from the truth. While major nodes in the Wolf Tree enhance a number of ranged abilities, others provide utility or enhancements that impact other areas of combat. Now, instead of telling you which skill is good or bad, because let's be honest here, that kind of subjective nonsense is pretty dumb, I'd rather share where and when these enhancements could be useful. And we'll start with the very first major node, Stealth Recon. Stealth Recon highlights targets when stealth, in the same way that Odinsight does. But instead of hitting a button to highlight everything around you, any time you come in range of an enemy, they light up like a Christmas tree. There's definitely an overlap here, but the thing about Stealth Recon that I like is that the effect doesn't wear off over time, and instead reacts to your distance from a target. If you're in range, they'll light up. It's as simple as that. The effect also gives you 360 degree coverage, and coupled with Odinsight, can provide players with useful intel. Next up, we have Sprint Attack, and like I said before, not everything is going to enhance your ranged abilities. This move really elevates stick and move style gameplay. While sprinting, you can tap your light attack button and perform a sprint attack, which deals a bit more damage than a standard light attack and staggers an enemy. This can really be useful when trying to run away from a situation with an enemy in your way. In terms of how it functions in more long-term combat, well, it's a bit clunky. You will sprint around from time to time, and that's really when it's best as a quick hit that leads into an exchange with another enemy, but ultimately, it won't be part of anyone's standard rotation. The best aspect of this ability is the stagger, which buys you time, and that's something valuable in Assassin's Creed. If we move further down the tree, we run into Last Chance Healing, a fantastic oh shit talent designed to give players one last chance to avoid death. This is really a staple for anyone, beginning or veteran player of the franchise, because it just provides you with another layer of protection in combat. When your health reaches that critical point, time will slow down, just enough so that you can retaliate or escape. I can't underline enough how valuable this skill is, especially when you're in a situation that has spiraled out of control. Even if you never have to use this major node, it is a lifeline, and it'd be silly not to take it. You honestly never know when it may come in handy. If we move along the outer edge of the skill tree, we run into Grit, and this is, in my opinion, one of the best skills players could pick up in the game. Its effect is simple. When you take damage, you have a brief window to regain the health you just lost by landing a successful hit. Because enemies don't string together moves that quickly, landing that retaliatory strike is relatively easy and keeps your health in the safe zone. What makes this skill even better is the lack of a grace period. You get hit, you hit back, and you regain your health. It's just that simple. Grit is one of those skills you take and never think about again, because it doesn't change the way you play, just adds another layer to the combat that makes you all the more potent. Even if you get hit at high health, Grit still functions as expected, so it's good across the board. When you get hit by accident, or when you're on the brink of death, looking to get back into the fight. So this next skill is definitely a fun one, albeit not always the most useful. Battleground Bolt allows you to pick up a weapon from the battlefield and throw it at a nearby enemy. I will say the animation and effect is cool, and it's a free way to chip away at the health of your enemies around you, but trying to use these items on the ground can definitely be a pain point. Honest to God, when I do have this talent, I pretty much just press the corresponding button, in my case the Y button, the entire time I'm fighting a group of enemies because I can't tell what's around me at any given time. Looking around trying to spot items is pretty impractical, but like I said, it is a fun effect and I try and approach it in that sense, that I'm not expecting to do more damage but I'm happy when it happens. This is definitely a cool skill on paper, but in practice, it's a bit clunky. When it hits, it's amazing, but the button mashing it takes to get to that point can be a bit of a struggle. This next skill really is one of my favorites, and I think it's a bit of a diamond in the rough. 
bow to melee link gives players a buff when alternating between ranged and melee attacks, and this buff increases the damage done by those attacks for a brief time. What I really like about this skill is that it does push you to change up your gameplay. Bouncing back and forth from range to melee keeps things fresh, and the skill isn't restrictive enough that it demands you play that way the entire time. The buff lasts just a few seconds, and it does break if you miss with an arrow or fall out of sequence, so there are definitely some pitfalls, but overall, I find it to be a really interesting choice in the Wolf Tree. Moving right along, it's time to talk about some of the more range-centric talents in the Wolf Tree, and we'll start back towards the middle with Emergency Aim. This is a pretty straightforward skill that allows players to snap into a slow time right before detection from stealth. It's a must-have for players in Valhalla because the stealth detection in this game is god-awful. The real boon to this skill is that it gives you a grace period between the yellow alert phase and the red aggro phase and buys you time to kill your enemy and remain hidden. To activate emergency aim, all you need to do is snap into your range targeting mode as soon as an enemy is alerted to your presence. Hunter Bow Combo is one of those tricky skills that really does take ranged combat to the next level, but the game doesn't do a great job of explaining how it works. With this skill active, you'll notice these four diagonal lines that appear during the end of your bow draw. This is basically an alert telling you to release the arrow for maximum effect. When you draw back the next arrow, you'll notice the same four lines, but they pop up much quicker. What this skill does is allows you to string together a number of arrows at maximum speed in quick succession, and that is incredibly valuable when in the throes of combat. This skill does continue until you mess it up, so you can essentially release an entire quiver at this speed, making it, in my opinion, one of the best skills for ranged combat. What's to say about Bow Stun Finisher? We all love a good cinematic death, and this skill lets us do that from a distance. Once an enemy's stamina is depleted, you can target that enemy and activate a ranged stun attack, instantly killing most targets. Sadly, there aren't many interesting ways to shoot an arrow into someone's skull, so these end up all looking roughly the same, which does take away a bit of the wow factor. It's also worth pointing out that this skill really doesn't add anything to your toolkit, except another flashy way to kill enemies, so really, it's all show, no substance. Another straightforward skill, arrow reinforcement ensures that every arrow you fire can be collected. This is really only important in combat scenarios since you can't hold a lot of arrows in the early parts of the game, but becomes less of a factor the later in the game you get. It also means having to pick up those arrows after firing them, and let's be honest, if we're sniping people across the map, the chances of us going to pick up those arrows is slim to none. It's definitely not a must-have skill, but it will come in handy even if that means picking up one or two arrows when you could have picked up none. I really dislike this next skill, Stealth Adrenaline. There, I said it. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but it's just one of the weirdest skills in the entire game. This skill gives you an adrenaline point when you pickpocket an enemy or loot a chest in a restricted area, and what a niche and bizarre thing that is. One, you can't pickpocket every enemy in the game like in previous Assassin's Creed titles, and two, chests are usually few and far between and really don't have any sort of connection to combat. Sure, you could grab a quick point before a battle and that may help you out, but long term this is just a do-nothing skill. There's not much more to say on the subject. This is a wacky idea that really has no place in the game. This spot would have been better served as an actual adrenaline enhancer to the wolf tree, but this is what we've got to go on. I wanted to end with my favorite skill in the wolf tree because it really is quite amazing. Charge Shot allows you to fire two arrows at once for an insane damage boost, almost always ensuring that you kill your target outright. Now, there are a few things you need to know. For one, you can toggle Charge Shot, but you can't stop it, and those arrows are getting loosed one way or another. Second, it costs two arrows, which isn't exactly efficient, but makes sense given the context. All that aside, it's really the damage that matters here, and it's substantial. It's a clear cut above the rest, and if you can figure out the timing, it's easily the best performing skill in the entire wolf tree. Like most of the skills in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the wolf skills work best when synergizing with other skills across the raven and bear trees. While most of the skills are designed for ranged or hit-and-run style tactics, there's nothing that's overly impressive about the wolf skills, which is why, in my opinion, it's actually the least impressive when it comes to overall performance and utility. There are some standouts like Grit and Charge Shot, but overall it's a lackluster attempt to give players a true ranged option in the game. We'll be diving into the bear and raven trees in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for more Assassin's Creed content in your feed. But that's enough of that, it's time to talk about what you think. Share your thoughts about the wolf tree in the comments section below, chime in with what your favorite skill is in the game, and don't forget while you're down there to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new video. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.